genius is a word that must be used very sparingly, especially in this world of films. Uh, those who claim it, who don't have it, and uh, others who do have it, uh, that uh, keep the fact concealed for fear of being called difficult, which uh, usually translates as unemployable. So at one time or another, Orson Welles has been considered both difficult and unemployable. I know only too damn well. Uh, but from the very first, from the time of his very first picture, the unforgettable Citizen Kane, Welles' mastery of the medium was evident. Unfortunately, only once, in Kane, was he free to exercise his talents without restraint? Subsequent productions were cut by other hands or like his Macbeth made on impossibly low budgets. Yet in every picture he ever made, his brilliance shone through. Thirty years ago, Orson Welles received from the Academy what he liked to call half an Oscar for the script of Citizen Kane, which he co-authored with Herman J. Mankiewicz. Tonight, the Academy is honored to give him an Oscar all his own. <laughs> Earned through his glowing performances, through the inspiration of his direction, and because he is truly that most difficult, unforgivable, and invaluable of God's creations, a man of genius. Orson wanted to be here tonight, but he's filming abroad, and so he accepts, in the medium he loves best, film. <laughs> From Europe, Mr. Orson Welles. Ladies and gentlemen, with this great honor, May I say that it's a lot more fun to look forward. Looking backward over some 30 years in the movies is something that I like to do as seldom as possible, but I can't forget that I didn't spend those years alone. Every filmmaker knows how much was done for him and by how many. If I could call just half of all those who deserve it to stand beside me now in front of this camera just to get them in one shot, We'd need Cinerama. It'd be quite a crowd scene. As for the public, I hope that they will understand why this is the more precious just because it does not come to me from them, much less from the critics, but from movie people themselves, the ones who love movies most. We need the public. The public doesn't need us. That's the truth of it. We don't really fill a pressing popular need. We try to create it. And if we didn't love movies as much as we do, if we weren't a little crazy on the subject, there wouldn't be any movies at all. I treasure this award as an expression of this happy lunacy. And may I accept it, please, not so much for what I may have done as for what I hope to do. God willing, I'm going to make some movies that deserve it. Meanwhile, this encouragement is very welcome with all my heart. I thank you for it. Happy lunacy. That's really telling it like it is. On my way back to Ireland, I'll stop in Spain and give him this.